Hey guys, Simcolor here, and today uh, we are going to learn how you can download the Uber project from my GitHub and how you can use it to your own advantage. So this video won't be for those that have been following every lesson and have everything uh, going okay for them. So if you are on one of those people, please dismiss this video. This is for those that want to get a fresh start with all um, with the most recent code uh, right on that project. So let's get right on with it. And the first thing we are going to do is to open Android Studio as always and going to VCS. And now just go to checkout from version control and click git. And now we will need the git repository URL. And to do that, just go in here and grab my and as you can see this is the page of the uber android project so yeah grab that and just copy and paste it here you'll probably need to to add the uh, github or connect download the package i don't remember how to do that but just tr try to find out it isn't that hard so yeah and then just give it the name that you want doesn't need to be anything special and clone it. Yes, can be on this window. Okay, and an error should pop out uh, because we don't have the Google Services J JSON, and that's the Firebase part. So you are going to grab it in a second. Let just the the gray the gradle load up. And here we go, you have the problem with JSON uh, Google services. So, to fix that, we are going to go inside here, and close those tabs, and go inside Firebase. So, I, I have the links for all of this down in the description, so you can go check that out, or just simply go by a Google search, all that will do. And now we are going to add a new project. And the project can be Uber Clone, project ID, OK, create projects. OK, so after that has finished loading, go ahead and click on add Firebase to your Android app. And now we have to do a series of things. So first of all, go inside here. And as you can see in the Java folder, it has my name, com.simcoder.uber. You can change that. I'm not going to go deep into this because it isn't important. But you can and should change it in the future. So, but for now, the most important thing is the name, and I'm going to assume that you are going to use com.syncolor.uber. But as I've said, please do uh, consider changing, especially if you are going to use it in the Google Play Store or wherever place you're going to put your app in. So then we'll need the the how do you call it S H A one uh, code. And for that, go into Gradle and then just find Android and signing in report. Double click it and this should appear. OK, and it uh, is exactly what you need. And grab this code SHA1. OK, copy and paste that here and register app. OK, now download Google services.json. Save file, okay, and I'm going to drag it onto my desktop. Let's just do this, okay. Desktop, make sure you don't lose sight of it. And now go into your Android project and change this to project and go inside app. This is where you, you'll drag the Google uh, services.json. As you can see by this image right here and it must be inside this folder otherwise it won't work I, I had people that had a lot of problems with this and it was just because of a misplaced file so be sure to drag your Google services.json inside here okay can add it to git I don't care 
Okay, so now the this part is almost done. This we already have because you had to add something to the, some things to the gradle, but I already did. So let me just check where. Okay, so here we are, and on the other gradle, here we are as well. Everything is done, so you can uh, actually skip this part altogether, and let's just wait for it to load. Okay, and you have the connection made. Now let's go ahead and go into the authentication part of things and in the authentication you'll need to uh, enable a sign-in method. So go into sign-in methods and you, you are, we are using the email and password one so you can just click it and say enable. That's it, everything should be working by now or almost, we still need to do some things but in the Firebase part of things, everything is done. So, okay. Now what we need to do, and I'm going to grab here and show it to you. Let's change to Android because it is easier to see. And going to manifest. Okay, now the part that we truly need to change is the part of the APIs. Google APIs to be more precise. So, as you can see, we have here this uh, string, which is mine. Uh, and okay we need to change it to make it yours otherwise I'm not going to pay for 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 the the queries that we are making and because of that you'll probably probably run out of uh, free queries quite fast so you'll need yours okay so you can just click control uh, left click and it will be take, taken to this page now we need to find you a way to, for you to create this code here and you do that by going to Google Developers scrolling down Google API Console and you are going to connect your app to this uh, part so we are going to add a project and the project name for me will be Uber clone, but you can give it whatever name you want. Okay, let's change it to. It is still creating, so let's wait a second. And uh, okay, it it is done. Uh, okay, so now let's enable APIs and services, and we are going to need three of uh, three of those. Uh, so the Google Maps, we can open it, the Google Directions, we can open it and the Google Places, let me check for it, here we are and you can open it as well. So now we are going to click Enable, it will pop up in a second, Enable, and it is enabling. Okay, first of all, then we need to create the credentials, otherwise it won't work. Okay, so here we are, we have the credentials that we need. Just copy that. And now the Google Maps API is already enabled, so we can go ahead and go into Directions API, enable it. And just wait a second it takes some time and the places API as the final one okay now grab this uh, key and add it to here and that's it it is all done we don't need to do anything else and yeah it should be working by now you don't have really any problems with it so yeah you have a functioning uber app for you to freely use your co the code is is mine but you can use it without any problems i i'm not going to put any restrictions on it because that's not the point of uh, what we are doing here so we can go ahead and actually close all of this don't need it 
need it anymore. Um, yeah, if you have any problems, please uh, check out my previous lessons. You can ask me, but if I've already answered it, then there is no point in that. So please, if you have trouble doing anything or in any particular part, if it is the registration, the saving to database, please uh, check out my previous lessons. I have everything written down and you can find it quite find them quite easily. Just follow the playlist. And yeah, that's all for now. I hope that clarified some things for you. And I'll see you again next time. Ciao.